We're here at FLIR looking at their lineup of Thermosite Thermal Optics. Tell us what you guys got for 2017. Yeah, so big news. Uh, 2016 is a big year for FLIR. Um, we purchased Armasite, and they were previously a, a customer slash competitor of ours. And we really fell in love with the design of their products. Mm -hmm. So we thought we could take their design and power that with us as a manufacturer to kind of provide a complete package. Uh, we've got 22 new products at this year's show. Um, we're taking building on our new boson detector, so that's mm -hmm. the newest, uh, latest, greatest product from us. Uh, it's a 12 micron detector, which is the uh, kind of the evolution of thermal. Um, and what that's going to allow us to do is create a lower cost, lighter weight, higher performance uh, package for the consumer market. Uh, and that's that was the ultimate goal uh, and why we purchased the Armasite like we did. Outstanding. So what do we got here on this gun? Yeah, so right in front of us uh, on the gun is our Thermosite CM. So this is a clip-on unit. So the thermal clip-on allows you to take all of your adjustments from your day scope, uh, simply clip on your night vision, and continue shooting as you would during the day. Continuing that line in the Thermosite family, we're going to go to the RM. So this unit is a dedicated thermal scope. So this replaces your day scope, has the reticle, you zero it like you would a traditional scope, and you shoot uh, with thermal only. Mm -hmm. So those are, those are new. Um, with our new Boson, that allows us the widest portfolio of any manufacturer in the consumer market. So we really have something for every, every user. Uh, for hands-free or helmet-mounted, we have our new Q14. So this unit can be used handheld, can mm -hmm. be put on a flip-down manual, uh, like, a, like a night vision, like a PBS-14, and this is gonna get you thermal detection with a very wide field of view. So short range, but wide field of view. So what can we expect with regards to clarity out to what distances with these different units? Yeah, so this unit with a 320 sensor, 200 yards and in, so mm -hmm. again, very short range. With these rifle scopes, depending on the lens, you go up something larger like this, five to 600 yards, up over 1,000 yards with a larger unit. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on the lens and the sensor. Well, I think that uh, you know hunters will be excited to get their hands on this uh, specific type of thermal optic, seeing as how it's been you know, specifically for the military and LE community in the past, and it's going to help with a lot of those uh, you know game tracking issues that they encounter, whether it's nighttime or uh, they just kind of lose track of where the animals are. That's so. it. You know, thermal contrast is mm -hmm. going to make a more usable image uh, day or night. So that's what we're here for. Well, there we got it. Clears thermosite thermal optic.